Hey everyone, in this video we're going to use AWS Cognito uh, and along with the AWS JavaScript uh, SDK to build a sign up page and a register user page for your website. Alright, let's get started. I'll first log into my account and my site. Okay, so I'll go to Cognito, I'll go to Manage User Pools. I'll create a new test pool. Let's call this test pool 02. I will actually change these required attributes uh, just to simplify things. I'll just make it email address and we'll require that they have a name too. Of course, change these to your requirements. Under verification type, I'm actually going to put link. So after every after a person uh, registers for your site, they'll get a verification email to verify their account. Let's create a app client name, test client, and make sure none of these are selected. Go ahead and create the client. Go next. None of this. Let's create the pool. Great. The pool is created successfully. So now go to app integration and then go to client settings select cognito user pool for the call so the sign in and sign out URLs the callback URL is the redirect URL that your users will go to after they successfully sign in the sign out URL will be the site they go to when they successfully sign out we'll just add a quick callback URL it's not that important obviously this should be some part of your site that it redirects your users to and we'll hit authorization code grant along with all of these we'll go ahead and uh, sorry make sure this is HTTPS great no errors let's go to domain name let's just put a quick domain name check that it's available it's available let's save the changes okay Okay, so first create a uh, JavaScript file called config.js. Uh, in this config file, um, make sure to put your user pool ID, your region, and your client ID. And the user pool ID is just, um, if you go back to your Cognito console and you go to, this is your user pool ID, so we'll copy that and we will and we will paste it into here. Let's save that. And for the client ID, we will go to our app integration, app, sorry, app integration, app client settings, and the ID should be here. You can also find it under app clients, which is right here. Now we can make our register HTML file to register the users. All right, let's go back to our notepad. And here I have uh, just a small little HTML uh, script or page um, that essentially creates a register user page. And just to take a look at what that actually looks like, let's go back to our Firefox. Let's open up that file. Um, and it will look like this, just bare bones, no CSS. Um, that'll let us log in our users. Uh, so let's go back to our notepad. Okay, so what's in this script? Uh, basically, um, we have the jQuery JavaScript library, the AWS Cognito um, SDKs, which are these three, and our config that we just made, which is this with all of our ID information. And that's all in the head. In the body, uh, we just have a simple header with register account, uh, inputs for the name, the email, the password, and the confirmed password. And finally, a button. Fun this button we'll call the register button function in our JavaScript. So if we go down to our JavaScript, basically cre create at first four uh, variables, the username, password, the personal name, and the pool data. The 
uh, register function button, which is the only function we have here. Uh, we grab that personal name from the HTML uh, item and the username, and which in our case is the email. Uh, this is just for password checking to make sure that the password and the confirmed password have the same value. Okay, so this is kind of where we get into the AWS uh, Cognito SDK. So we create a pool data variable with a user pool ID that's in our config and a client ID, which is also in our config, these two. Then we create this user pool uh, variable by creating a new object, an Amazon Cognito identity, Cognito user pool object with that pool data. And we create another variable called attribute list, which will contain our the attributes we want to store in our user pool, which in our case is the email and the personal name. The, and then we create two new Cognito user attribute uh, objects with the email and the personal name. And we push those to that array up here. Okay, finally the last little bit for the register. Um, basically we take that user pool object, which was this you know, user pool. We take the username, the password, the attribute list, um, which was that array, and uh, if there's errors, we just throw them uh, into an alert. And when we sign it up, we store the Cognito user uh, as the user, and we just print their name to the console to make sure it worked. And finally, we get the change the header name or the title to, to checking the verification link. Basically, after they successfully register a name, they still have to verify, and that verification will be sent through the email. Uh, this is not really needed, so actually I can delete that. Okay, great, our page is done. Let's go back to it, and let's test it. So we'll restart, and just to show you, in our users and groups, there are no currently registered users. So let's register a test user. Email, I'm just going to create a uh, throw away email here just for the verification so we can grab that verification link password I'll just put in a password here make sure they're the same and we hit register actually let's open up the web console to see what the okay so it successfully registered with the username of this and as you can see it says to check our verification our email for verification and here it is wow and then we just hit verify email and it'll bring you to this page saying you're confirmed so if this all worked and all of our code worked in our notepad then we should see a new user a test user in our user pool so we go here and we refresh and there we go with the email that's the same as we registered here Great, that's the end of this video. Um, that's how you make the register page. Now we just have to make the login page, and you're all done.